hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel technical speaks in this video we are going to see how we can make a simple java calculator app using switch and case statement so here you can see i am using notepad plus plus you can use any of your favorite ide so without wasting time let's start coding first here create class like public class simple calculator inside it create the main method which is public static void main and inside the braces string args so now here i just declare three variables num1 num2 and ans num1 for number 1 num2 for number 2 and ans for answer so basically when the user enter number 1 it will be stored in num1 similarly number 2 will be stored in num2 and the answer will be stored in ans now we would need a more data type character which is character ch it will use for selecting the operator now here you can now here just i am using a scanner class which is scanner input reader is equals to new scanner and system dot in first i want to get the first number from the user so i just print here system dot out dot print ln enter first number and then to store the user first input in num1 we are using input reader dot next double similarly to for getting the second number and store it into the num2 copy it the first one and paste here so simply here at the place of first replace it with second and at the place of num1 replace with num2 so it will basically store the second number which the user will input so now here i am adding a one more line for print statement and in the quotes just write choose any operator like at the output user would have four option to select it will be addition subtraction multiplication and division so here to store the operator we would use the character ch which is ch is equals to input reader dot next dot caret and under the braces just pass zero now we are going to use switch and case statement for that enter switch and inside the braces just pass and inside the braces just pass the condition which which is ch in our case ch basically refers to the operator which the user want to do within the app so the first case will be case of addition which will store the answer is equals to num1 plus num2 and then break similarly for others first let let it copy and then in the place of addition change it with subtraction and in place of num1 plus num2 replace it with minus sign similarly for the multiplication replace the add sign with the multiply sign and similarly for the division we would have to replace the plus sign with division sign and finally we have to use default method which is which is used when the user will enter anything else instead of this four operators just uh, we want to show the user choose the correct operator and finally to close it just enter return now once the user enter the select the operator we have to 
show the output to the user. So first print system dot out dot print dialog. Inside the braces, the result is, and in the second line, it will be system dot out dot print dialog. Inside the braces, here it will be like num one plus space. Plus ch ch basically it will show here the operator which the user will select and then num two is equals to answer. So that's all in the code. Let's save it first and let compile it here. Java C simple calculator dot Java. So here you can see. It is showing error in the line four. Let me correct it. So here you can see we are we we are using curly braces in place of square bracket. So replace it with square braces. And the second error it is showing is in the line twenty nine. In place of dot. We we are using comma. So let me correct it. Go to line twenty nine, and here you can see comma. So we re so replace it with the dot. Now it seems to okay. Let's save it and compile it. So here you can see. There are some more errors showing, which is in line 11. You can see we misspelled the keyword system. So let me correct it. Go to the code section, and here you can see spelling was misspelled. Now. Let me save it and compile it first. Java C simple calculator dot Java. You can see it compiled successfully. Now to run this, simply enter Java simple calculator. Here you can see it asks to enter the first number. Let enter any number like five four six three point eight seven seven three and hit enter. Again, it asks to enter second number. Let enter eight seven six point eight seven, and hit enter. Now you can see it asks to choose any operator, and there are option: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's select multiplication for now, and hit enter. Now you can see it is showing the result. The result is: it is the first number which we have, we are enter. And in in the center you can see the multiplication sign, and this is the second number which we were enter is equals to the result. Let me add some space between these numbers so to see clear. Just enter your spaces. Now all seems to be okay. Save it first. Let compile it and now run it. Java simple calculator. So now here you can see it asks to enter first number. Let enter two two three point three. Hit enter. It asks now it asks to enter second number. Let enter five six point eight eight. After now hit enter. Now it is asked to choose any operator. So now let select subtraction. Now you can see the result is showing two two three point three, which is the first number, and here is some space, and after that, it is the minus sign. Then second number is equals to the 
is equals to the result now let's check what will happen if we choose any operator other other than the four operators so for that let enter any first number 233 for second number let enter triple three and for operator let uh, enter anything random which like dss and hit enter so now you can see the output it is showing is choose the correct operator which is coming from here default method which is system.out.println choose the correct operator this is how we can make simple calculator in java using switch and case statement if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and to get notification of our latest videos press the bell icon